there is a <coughs> being counselor is, is 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 something that is easily accessible. Paying public position for most of the people at local level. That's the first point that I make. You 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 don't have to have any academic qualification. You don't have to have whatever money you you it comes to you when it's when it's election time that you can make yourself available and you can find yourself from a position where you are not getting anything in the form of income and and suddenly you get yourself some income so it's easily available but because it is easily accessible and it's paying it is gradually becoming highly competitive. It's, it's no exaggeration that at, at, at any given point you can find up to 10 people competing to be a councillor in a ward or to be a, a PR councillor or, or people become, wanting to become PR councillors in the same area. So the point is competition is very high. And it promises double growth. One growth is, is in terms of your social status. You become somebody all of a sudden. When you are a counselor, you suddenly get uh, respected. Even by people in their weddings, you get acknowledged even in, in functions, even if they are birthday functions, you, 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 you are the most available uh, public figure at a local level yes. as a councillor. So you get the status. You even become conscious of it in terms of your dress code. Um, even your family and your immediate uh, families, they become associated with the councillor and uh, you get a status social. But on the other hand, it also pays financial because you are getting income directly in the form of a, a, an allowance or a salary. That's, that's the first scenario. The second one about this If you are associated with, uh, firstly, the campaign of a councillor and, and your councillor of choice becomes a winner, you, not, not, not the councillor himself or herself now, but if you, if you are in the inner circle of a councillor because you influenced, you supported, from that inner circle outwards in, 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 in layers. And, and there are those layers. You, you, you can easily and ordinarily identify them, but there are those layers. There is a person who would be number one in a councillor in terms of closenessness. Yes. From the old days of identifying you as a councillor, giving you support, influencing other people, and actually delivering you as a councillor. That circle, that's how it forms. Um, there's benefit for you, depending, I mean, notwithstanding where you are in the circle around the councillor. Because uh, it puts you next in line in inverted commas. So you, you would soon or later get to be a member of the branch executive or in a zone or a sub region or even in the REC. It, it goes like that. Either you are in those positions and then you, you influence 
a situation where so and so becomes a councillor, or you influence things that so and so becomes a councillor, and then you get to the structures. It goes like that, in a way. So it benefits. Thirdly, um, proximity to tenders or proximity to power broking, to a power broking position within the political power ladder. This in turn brings the honor to offer employment and of course other favors. So when you are a councillor, when you become a councillor, you are in a, in, in a close proximity for awarding tenders, either formally or informally, directly or indirectly. So it has benefits. Or uh, uh, you become uh, a power... I'm sorry to interrupt. <clears throat> how, how does it operate indirectly? It operates indirectly because as a councillor, you know what is going to come up in your discussions in formal council meetings. You, you know where, when what tender is going to be out, where, for how much, all those details you have. And, and, and you then uh, informally go to potential um, interested parties. You get to them and to say, uh, you know what, there is this tender coming. Uh, I thought I should just inform you. Uh, um, uh, if Sometimes conversations can go on to say, can you get me papers or, or can you brief me more or can you link me up? So, in that way. Um, and then it proceeds on and on. What is there for me uh, and all those things. But this is how it, it happens informally. So, this is, this is a, a, a benefit. But... Um, there is, other, there is another syndrome. You remember, uh, the, the reason why I'm, I'm out, outlining these things is how tensions uninten unintentionally develop because you compete in all these processes. But the other factor in the competition is the syndrome, which we can call my or our turn to eat has come. The, the, there is that syndrome. It's, it, 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 it doesn't have a chairman or a secretary, um, but it's a movement, a periodical movement. Uh, it's, it's, it, it, it's unidentifiable. You, but you, you do become conscious of it. It's our turn to eat. And it becomes very powerful. It, it can move a woman or a man. And it can throw you on the other side. My turn or our turn to eat. <clears throat> 